Hi, my name is Phyllis, and uh, my website is southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to make a quick broccoli casserole, and I mean it's going to be really, really quick. So, I've already got my pot on the stove, and so what we're going to do is melt a couple of tablespoons of butter. Might be a little more than a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to burn on medium. And to this, we're going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now, I'm going to leave the recipe down below in the Show More section. So if you want to see the recipe, all you do is hit the Show More button. So we're going to cook this flour just a little bit in the butter. just for a very few minutes. Now, to this we're going to add one cup of milk. And I'm using the non-fat Carnation um, Instant Non-Fat Milk. And I'm doing that because we're going to boil this and I don't want it to curdle. So we're going to actually add another fourth cup to this, just regular water. So that's one and a fourth cups of non-fat dry milk. And the way you mix that is like one third of the milk or the non-fat milk and uh, one cup of water, but I added an extra fourth cup of water. So we're just going to bring this to a slight boil. Wait for that to boil. I'm going to put a dash of onion powder. I mean, just a dash, like that. And I'm going to put a dash of garlic powder, like that. In other words, you won't really taste it, but it's going to give it some extra flavor. So I'm just going to bring this to a boil and let it thicken up a bit. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. I am using that Himalayan pink salt. So that would be less than a fourth of a teaspoon. Of course, you could add as much salt as you wanted. Now, the, the other ingredients are two cups of broccoli florets. Now these are frozen still a little bit. I took them out a while ago, so they're not completely frozen. We're just waiting for this to come up to a boil. And the other thing we're going to add is one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, but we're only going to put about a fourth of the cup in here and save some for the topping. Let's see if that will boil. All right. So for the topping, we're going to use a fourth of a cup of the shredded uh, sharp cheddar cheese and about 12 of these little Ritz crackers. And what, what we've already done with these is I went ahead and used my, put it down on the counter and just bang them with a rolling pin or even the bottom of a pot. But I'm only going to use about half this roll for the topping mixed with about a fourth of a cup of the cheddar cheese. And I do uh, shred my own cheddar cheese. I just think it's better than buying that kind that's already shredded for you. Okay, so I'm going to be posting this video after I post the video. Uh, Mr. Bucky and I are going to both well, mostly Mr. Bucky, okay? We're going to give you an update on the hurricane and what we are doing uh, to prepare, or what we have really already done to prepare for it. All right, so this is already getting thick. I shred my cheese just on wax paper. It makes life much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put about three-fourths of the cup of that cheese right in this milk mixture. So it's already gotten thick. Now we might have to add a little more 
milk if it gets too thick. All right, so it's just barely coming to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and dump in, oh, y'all couldn't see. I dumped the three fourths of that uh, one cup of cheddar cheese right in there. We're going to go ahead and dump, dump that broccoli, and it is still frozen a bit. So I'm just going to dump that in on top, like that. I need a bigger spoon. By the way, the other day, uh, Jaws was on, the original Jaws, and Mr. Buck and I watched it that afternoon. You remember the part where that uh, police chief said, we're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah. I've watched Jaws, I don't know how many times, I always get a big kick out of watching it. All right, so we're just going to let this bubble a little bit and sort of get that broccoli partially cooked. Yeah, so what the uh, garlic does, and the onion powder, in my opinion, for uh, vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, even cabbage, and certainly Brussels sprouts, adding butter and a dash of garlic and a little bit of onion powder kind of makes everybody like the way they taste. And we did not cook this broccoli beforehand because we're trying to make this really, really easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dump it in a little Pyrex container right here. This is, I think it's about a five by seven, but it holds six cups. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my burner off now. And remember, we've already got it started cooking. So I'm going to dump that in. So this is just like a cheese sauce, really. And of course, there are all kinds of ways to make broccoli casserole. Just in like that. All right, so now let me move y'all back a little bit. Hold on. All right, so we're back. I can move this back so y'all can see. So um, I went ahead and uh, just chopped up all of these little Ritz crackers, and I'm going to dump about half this pack, which I think would be about 12 crackers. And by the way, I do freeze these, the whole box. All right, so I'm just going to hold it there and dump out about half of them. That will do it right there. So go back in the freezer along with the rest of the box. So now I'm just going to mix this up with the cheese. So I'm cooking again in my toaster oven set at 350 degrees on bake. If you don't have a toaster oven, of course you could use a regular oven. And we're just going to let it bake for about 20 minutes. That's about how long it will take it to start bubbling. So just put that right on top. Ritz crackers mixed with the uh, fourth of a cup of the cheese. And again, the broccoli will finish co cooking in the oven. And remember the broccoli now is very moist, has a lot of water to it, so this should work out just fine. All right, y'all, we will see y'all in about 20 minutes. All right, y'all, here's the meal, and here's the squash casserole right there. And this is uh, cucumber and mango little salad. 
I saw a picture of that in a magazine. I thought it looked really good. And uh, these are canned mango slices. Right there, I got those at Walmart. And uh, it makes the uh, mango taste like a mango melon, really. Anyway, we've got some coleslaw and some barbecue with that Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and a couple of slices of Italian bread. And here's Mr. Bucky's plate. He's got the barbecue and he's got the hash because he loves the hash. And there's his um, broccoli casserole. Again, that mango uh, and the cucumbers are really good. These are those little bitty cucumbers. I think they're grown in Canada in a greenhouse. Anyway, they're always really super crispy. And I wanted to say something about the cups. Let's see if that'll show up. Let me turn it around a little bit. These are those silver buffalo cups, and that's the impression in the metal of a buffalo. And I got those at Walmart because they were discontinuing them. And uh, the reason I got them is because they do not have a seam going down the middle of them. And they are filled with some kind of, uh, uh, let's see, foam insulation stuff. So there, there is no seam on the inside, which is hard to find a cup without a seam. But these have no seam, and they're on uh, uh, clearance at Walmart. So I got them in that little section. Sorry for my dog, y'all. Um, got them in that little section where um, when you check out, they were on a, a little shelf there. And I went back and got every one of them that were in my local Walmart. But you might still find some in yours. I think they were, a couple of them were $6, and I think they were 8 Some of them were 8 half price, really. All right, so there's the meal, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now.